Photon M3, a Russian spacecraft massive in comparison to YES-2. The experiment here on its tip. It's the work of hundreds of university students from all over Europe. ESA challenged them with a real-world space task to return the capsule safely from space to Earth. In theory, little more than first-year physics, plus using an ingenious trick. Three strong springs accelerate the capsule towards Earth. Moving away, it unwinds a thin tether like a fishing line. Closer to Earth, gravity becomes stronger, and this force gradient gently pulls the capsule further down. When needed, a brake takes control. Three and a half kilometers of tether unwind in 90 minutes, after which the brake blocks the release for a few minutes. Time to close in on the landing point. At brake release, the capsule rapidly pulls down again. As it orbits slower, the angular velocity increases, moving the capsule ahead once more, up to 40 degrees. After an hour, the release is stopped. Photon M3 and YES-2 is a rigid pair now, a 30-kilometer-long pendulum in space, swinging against the direction of flight under the gravity force gradient. When it is nearly in the vertical, the tether is cut and the capsule released from its carrier, slowed down enough for a direct path from space to Earth. 30 kilometers of sunlit tether is the longest object ever deployed in space, but not for long. It rapidly burns up in the atmosphere. The capsule takes course to the Kazakh steppe. Diving into the atmosphere, it loses energy as heat, protected by a shield tested to withstand 2,000 degrees. A small parachute opens at 5 kilometers. The touchdown will be gentle, if everything works as it should. September 2007. Tune in for YES2 activation when these students complete ESA's most ambitious space education project ever.